Welcome everybody to another episode of Dragon Speed Shop and part two on building your own custom frame. Uh, so last video we uh, got all our lines laid out, um, all our marks that we need so we can actually start building a custom frame. Um, the next step usually I do is I'll take the make, the model, do custom frames or custom fabrication frames, anything like that. And I ended up finding this. Um, it was a company, I can't remember who, but I've, I've kind of sat there and redrew their frame, um, tweaked it just a little bit to my likings, but that's usually the best step. Unless you have something in mind that you want to build, um, replicating a build or anything like that, um, go off of those pictures, draw it out. Um, all these lines, they will line up the exact same as what we built. Um, so you guys kind of get an understanding. What we're going to make is from this point to this back part here, so there. Um, we're only going to here because this is where the frame actually starts to bend up to clear for the front suspension and also for the rear suspension. So our main focus in this video is just kind of the center section of the vehicle. Um, through the magic power of YouTube, everything like that, I have all the parts, let's see, cut out here. Let's see, I need my drawing. So we have two center bars two little angled bars and then off of those we have let's see they go that way nope. that and this <clears throat> so there you go rough part of the frame um, for actually making the frame not sure what size bars so this is in millimeters this one wide is 3.2 and then it is 1.9 that way um, this one will be a square bar of 3.0 I'm not sure what size they are I just have a bunch of this stuff laying around and I absolutely love it for frames. So the bigger square one is what the outline of the frame is. The smaller, thinner stuff will be on the inside part of the frame. So as it comes for gluing, um, I'm a big fan of this. To me, extra thin. I'm really, really happy with it. Uh, to keep your frame straight, um, you can make jigs, you can eyeball it or anything like that. Uh, right in front of you is my custom squares. Um, they make lining up frames a super, super nice to do. Um, keeps everything in line right where it should be. Keeps everything nice and square. These are made out of plexiglass, um, something that I had custom made for me. I do have some. If you're interested in them, get a hold of me. Put a little bit too much in there. So I will get this all glued together real quickly and then I will be right back with you guys. 
All right, guys. So I am back. I got this frame all glued up. So here she is. The start of it. Still got a lot of cleaning up to do. Everything like that. But this is the basics of what the frame is. Don't mind my big gaps over here. My jig doesn't cut that angle. But I can fix it. So that's what we built. It differs from the picture a little tiny bit. Yours probably will too. Depending on how exact and how precise you want to be. Um, so we know that's what we have built. So we're going to have to trim these ones back to about here where it's flush. So we take that and we line it up. You can kind of see where we need to adjust and what we need to cut. Again, the motor that we're going to use will land right inside there. So we will have to make a transmission mount across there once we actually get a full frame and our suspension figured out. So there we go, guys. The beginning part of actually building your frame. The next video, we will build the back half of the frame and the front half of the frame and start figuring out our suspension. So until next time, guys, this is Dragon Speed Shop. Thank you for tuning in. I'll catch you next time.